Continuing the progression, the AFA trainer will now introduce a bit more pressure by asking the players to use skills they've just practiced with moderate defensive pressure and keeping the drills fun by adding some shooting into the mix. As you can see, the players remain engaged in the developmental process and are having a lot of fun. Roll it through. Now you know it. Let's go. Sweep. Good. Go to the next one. Good. Now come up to me and sweep it. And then you better score before I knock you over. Oh, you're done. You take his ball, Bruce. Leave it, Jibs. Let's go. Sweeps. Sweeps. Come up to me, Tommy, and sweep the ball. Sweep it. Very good. You better shoot before I knock you over. Very good. You got to sweep it. Oh, good, Bennett. Hit the target. Great shot, buddy. You take the ball and go that way. Sweep it, Benny. Sweep it. Roll it. Step on it and roll it. Very good. And then go past me and score. Oh, can't handle the pass here. Sweep it. Sweep it. You got to sweep it, Sebastian. You got to wait for the next ball, Jibs. So here, come to this way, push it with the outside of your foot, and then score, and then score. Dribble, and you gotta come at me, come at me and sweep it. Sweep, very good. And now shoot your target. I love it. Hey, when you guys come up here, you gotta dribble, and take it with the outside of your foot, and score. Come on, Bruce, hit it, shoot. I love that. Jibs, that's your ball. You take that one. Bruce, you wait. You gotta wait. Outsides only. Outside only. Outside only. Outside only. Use your pinky toe only. Little toe only. Very good. Now you come. Dribble up right at these cones. And wait, Vinny. And finally, in this last clip, we'll see how the AFA trainer takes all the things covered up to this point it gives the players a chance to incorporate them in a realistic yet controlled game-like situation. In this section, players have an opportunity to dribble with speed, to compete to win balls, to attack and defend, and to go to goal under pressure. Putting players into this situation following skills training gives them a picture of how to handle themselves in game settings. And this is the reason that consistent progressive training is so important to a young player's development. Through this process, they develop muscle memory and instincts to react during their games because they have repeated and controlled practice experience. Hi, hey. Here's the deal now, you gotta pay attention. Tommy and I, we're gonna race. Whoever gets through that goal first keeps their ball. The other one leaves theirs and tries to stop them. So we dribble. Let's go, Tommy. We go. We get through it. If, since he gets through there first, I leave mine and now I gotta stop him. And if I steal it, I can shoot. Now you gotta stop me. Oh, now he can score. Do you guys hear that? Do you understand that? Yeah! Good. Let's, hold on, wait, wait, wait. First two, you ready? Go, go. Back up, Jibs. You gotta catch him, Sebastian. Very good. Oh, that's a great one. Next two, go. You gotta leave him, catch him, Jibs. Oh, it's still in. It's still in. Oh, great shot. Hold on. No, no, Bennett. Back up. Back up, Bennett. Back up, Bennett. Ready, go. It's still in. Put it in, Austin. Catch him. Catch him, Benny. It's still in. Still in. The videos you've just seen were taken from the first 25% of a U7, that's first grade, training session. Other items that were included in that training session were dribbling with speed and going to goal under pressure. 
And of course, no training session is ever complete without small-sided games at the end. After all, that's why the kids come out, to play. And we consider it our job to sneak in some soccer training while they're at it. The session lasted just over an hour, which is pretty typical for a U7 through U9 AFA developmental player. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this very small glimpse into AFA's world of developing young players' skills and love for the game. If you're a parent of a U8 player going into second grade and if that player loves the game of soccer, and if you'd like to come out for a trial run, we'd love to see you. For information about training times and other questions, please contact the U8 age group manager, Kathy Powers, at 314-570-7857. Or go to the internet at www.afasoccer.com. Following this video will be some frequently asked questions and common answers.